Susie, it is strange. It happened right here. Now, this was a first for L.A., but uh, sadly, people we spoke with today say it won't be the last. If you're into this type of bird watching, you should know it has happened. The first bird scooter driving while intoxicated arrest in Los Angeles. That is crazy. I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> Where did it happen? Hollywood. Santa Monica. How about right there? Yep, Santa Monica Boulevard and Sawtell in West LA. The bird driver's blood alcohol level was more than three times the legal limit. He hit and injured a man leaving this movie theater. The bird man scooted off to an apartment building, but witnesses tipped off police and he was arrested. I think people probably expect they're less likely to get pulled over on a scooter than a car. Exactly the message the city attorney wants to drive home saying he wants to keep our streets and sidewalks safe. Lots of bird lovers. It's so efficient to go around. These birds fly down the sidewalk, even though it clearly states on the bird itself they shouldn't be on them. Sometimes when I walk, I feel like from the back, someone might hit me. While some would say they never mix alcohol while driving this two-wheeler. Absolutely not. Yeah, it's, like, it's dangerous. There are others who admit they have been drunk, and hopped on for a drive. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Yes, I have. Yeah, um, uh, I came out of a bar once. I didn't want to take an Uber because it was so congested over in West Hollywood. And you know, I saw a bird, so I was like, you know what? Might as well. That one woman, Angelina, pointed out. She goes, you know what? People treat bird scooters like they're toys. They forget they are motorized vehicles, which is an important point. Reporting live from West Los Angeles, Greg Mills, KCAL 9 News. Greg